Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. So, yeah, we're back to talk about Keith Thurman once again. Keithy Poo, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Keith, once upon a time, Thurman. Once upon a time, he used to get knockouts. Now he doesn't. He takes L's to fighters that are over the age of 40. Which is why I'm curious as to why he wants to fight Ares Lenny Lara at 154 pounds for his fake WBA championship. You see, now Keith Thurman has seemingly switched his sights for Danny Garcia to Ares Lenny Lara. And I don't know, maybe maybe you can direct me to an article or a posting of where Ares Lenny Lara called out Keith Thurman anytime recently. I don't recall that. Even when I was making videos super consistently a few years ago, I don't remember anyone talking about this. Keith Thurman is what you would call a lifer at 147. Um, he's a little dude, man. He's not even 5'7". I've seen a guy in person. He's more like 5'4". He's a midget. So, you know, and, and with the with the with the braids being gone, you lost your power, just like Samson. So I don't really understand why you'd want to fight Lara. The only reason why I can think you'd want to fight him is because you think he's over the hill. Uh because, you know, again, a lot of the Cuban fighters, no disrespect, you know, they do lie about their age. I'm willing to bet Lara's not thirty nine years old. He's probably around forty two, forty three. Looks great for that age, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Keith Thurman wants to try to sneak up to a, a higher weight class and steal him a little uh, regular belt because that's what it is. Because we know Jamel has the real WBA belt while Lara has the you know the fake one. He's got the regular. He's the regular champion. But you know Keith Thurman is no stranger to being a regular guy because he's a regular guy. Um, Danny Garcia called him out. You know after the the fight he had over the weekend, Keith Thurman seemed like he was interested in making that fight, but. He seems to be more about, you know, capturing some gold at this point uh, in his career. He is 33 years old. Um, you know, he's almost being blackballed out of the 147 pound division. But, you know, interestingly enough, uh, if you look at Keith Thurman's rankings uh, throughout like the sanctioning bodies, um, I believe he's ranked number one by the WBC, number three by the WBA, number three by the WBO and number six by the IBF. So I thought that was interesting, um, almost as if they're going to play, you know, Thurman, excuse me, they're going to play Spence's hand and maybe try to force him to fight Keith Thurman. Uh, I definitely don't see, well, the thing is, man, boxing is just so funny acting right now. Spence and Crawford need to fight and unify the division. That's really it. No one's thinking about Keith Thurman anymore. No one cares about Keith Thurman. Why? Because he's a liar. He's lied about multiple injuries that he's had in the past. He's never produced any paperwork to substantiate any claims of him being injured at any point, getting into fake car accidents, putting makeup on his elbow, talking about he had bone spurs in his hand, and then he sends us a, a x-ray uh, of some, some dry noodles in the shape of a hand. He's a liar, okay? Keith Thurman is not the Keith Thurman that we once thought he was. I lost all faith in this guy when he took an L to Pacquiao. All that tough talk he was talking. Couldn't bag none of it up. Barely squeaked by Mario Barrios. And the thing about Mario Barrios is at least Tank dropped him three times and stopped him. But you couldn't even do that. So I know you're not the same Keith Thurman. In fact, if you've ever fought Danny Garcia, I would pay Danny Garcia to beat you in a rematch. So I don't, I really don't get the angle with Laura. He must know something that we don't know. Maybe Laura's been injured. I don't know. I don't follow Laura like that. I feel like I ain't seen this dude's fights televised in years. But he'll school you as a southpaw, just like Pacquiao schooled you. No, matter of fact, I'll say like the Pacquiao Thurman fight, you know, he, even though he puts you on your ass in the second round, it was a little bit more competitive, competitive in the second half of the fight. But, you know, you're going to fight Ares Lenny Laura, who's a, just a complete technician. You're not going to win that fight. So just stop capping. Stop the cap. And just stick to 147. Why don't you fight Jerome Enos? That's a good fight. Connor Ben, 147. You like fight? You want to try to fight these new up-and-coming fighters? Fight them. Spence said he's not going to fight you. You scared to fight Terrence Crawford? That's Those are your only two options there, buddy. Or just remain as the gatekeeper at 147. There's nothing wrong with that, Keith, right? You used to get knockouts. You could probably get a couple more. 
you know, in, in the near future, potentially. You know, it's just, you know, we, we're just, we're tired of the lies. We, we know Keith Thurman doesn't want to go up to 154 and fight Larry. If he really wanted a real title, he would have called out uh, Jermel Charlo. And he doesn't want those problems, okay? Lara's only 5'9". I mean, I'm not sure how tall. The thing is, man, he's undersized for 154. Danny Garcia is undersized for 154 as well. But Keith, I mean, you're not going to put – you're going to put on some weight. You're going to be slower. You know, you, you're so injury prone. You're probably going to hide another fake injury during training. And then, you know, when you fight the guy, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, um, I tried to get through the fight best I could. But, you know, my right hand was broken. My ankle was – my, my ankle has some bone spurs in it. You know, my shoulder was a little sore. You know, just lying about shit. So that's what you can expect from Keith Thurman. Excuses. That's all he is, is a walking excuse. So we'll see what happens. His career, not going anywhere at the moment. We're in August 2022. You don't have a fight lined up right now. Talking about you're going to sign a contract. If, I bet you won't sign a contract. Didn't, didn't Terrence Crawford send you a contract and you don't want to sign it? That would have been a good fight for you to get your ass beat in. But it's okay. It's all right. If you're a Keith Thurman fan, you're a dummy. How do you, how do you, how do you co-sign this guy? I can't co-sign anything he says. Hit man boxing, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Keith, Keithy Poo and, and uh, Ares Landy Lara. I'm out, man.